Hello. Yesterday afternoon we made it to Dangal. It's a coastal area in the south. And yeah, the south is all about beaches. So it's pretty crazy. Yesterday when we came down from the mountains, you can feel the change in the weather, like in the humidity in the air. It increases a lot and you kind of lose the forests in the mountains. And then when you get down here, all of the plants are like low-lying plants. It's, it's more flat and there are a lot less trees. In the late afternoon yesterday when we were walking on the beach we passed a hatchery and we had no idea that sea turtles came here to lay their eggs. So yesterday there's actually one very very close by and they don't take the eggs to another facility to wait for them to hatch and then put them in tanks. They simply move the eggs into a hatchery on the sand and the, when the eggs hatch, they just take care and make sure that the, the baby sea turtles make it to the ocean. So I don't know how safe it is to move eggs because I know that the eggs need to be at a stable temperature and that moving eggs might cause the ratio of boys and girls that are born to change, but I'm not sure. I know that there's a problem here with um, poachers and farmers digging up the eggs and selling them on the black market. I know that some places pay for the eggs. They pay a higher price for the eggs instead to purchase the eggs instead of them going to the black market. But I've just read some stories about how they don't release them into the water. I have no idea, just a bunch of complicated stuff, and just to be safe, to make sure that my money isn't going to the wrong place, I'm just here. The people who work for this hatchery are just volunteers, and they don't ask for any money, and basically you just go and watch the experience. Ah, no, it's a baran. It's a baran eating the eggs. Oh, no. This baran was digging for turtle eggs. Now he's focused on, on me. But as soon as I leave, he's gonna start eating them again. Last night, we talked to one of the volunteers for this hatchery, and they said that they do night rounds every single night, and they walk uh, five kilometers up and two kilometers down to see if uh, turtles are laying their eggs. And when the turtles lay their eggs, they wait by them because they said that other people will come to take the eggs. So they wait by them, they collect the eggs, and they move them into a secure, more secure location uh, for the eggs to st remain underground and, and hatch. So we walked around with these volunteers and they stay up all night. So they go in groups of five. I know that some stay at the hatchery and then a lot of others just spread out around the area. And we did see a couple of sea turtles and he explained it was interesting that the sea turtles come up to lay eggs around four or five times. And also they don't just beach themselves and find a spot and lay their eggs. They will come up and check out the area and then go back in, into the sea if they're, not, if they're not sure it's safe. And then they'll do that again in another area. 
Last night we went out for a walk on the beach and we ran into the volunteers. And they said it was okay if we went with them and walked around to see if we could find any turtles that were making their nests. We saw several turtles last night, around five or maybe more, and we also saw a lot of paths that would go up the beach and then go back down. And one of the turtles that we saw had been making her nest for a long time already, maybe an hour or two, and it had a very deep hole, but later on moved away. And one of the volunteers explained to us that uh, they believe that she had moved because she just moved down a little bit. They believe that she moved because she didn't like the consistency of the sand, that it needed to be more wet. Last night, I learned a lot of stuff about sea turtles. Just, he gave us so much information, it was great. I don't have any footage from last night. I think I have a picture or two. And I don't have anything because, you know, you have to respect the turtles and keep your distance. Also, you can't use any lights because you'll scare them away. The volunteers said to come back tonight, though, to the hatchery because they think that some of the turtles will be hatching and we will be able to watch them go out to sea. Maybe if we go around sundown, we'll be able to record some of the sea turtles making it to sea. <laughs> finding so many critters on the beach. <laughs> so slowly. Estos cangrejos son la leche. Mira cómo se, mira qué bien se se, se pone, se, se tapa con las con las garras. Son como una gamba, son largos. ¿Lo ves? Sí. Yeah. Ay, no te salgas, perdón, casi se sale. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, we'll leave him alone. Yeah. We'll leave him alone. 